Hey and welcome to my video about the Ever Sky X Lite remote control. Um, it's the new small entry level remote control from Ever Sky. I've been flying it for the last two weeks off and on in rotation with my regular X9D and I wanted to try out if this is a real alternative for uh, yeah freestyle pilots to just travel a little bit lighter without the big transmitter bag you need to uh, bring your X9D from A to B. I'll tell you about the results later. Uh, let's have first a look on the X-Lite itself. X-Lite comes in this really nice transport bag, very compact and solid. Um, this is how it looks inside. It comes with this little gimbal protectors that even protect the gimbals more when inside of its packaging. And here it is, X-Lite. X-Lite only has four switches in the top and two of these dials. It has connectivity for earphones, USB, Here's a micro SD card already inserted. It comes with a micro SD card. And this is the smart port connector where you can plug in a simple servo cable. And then you can flash the receivers right out of x -Line. It has this two hall sensor gimbals display. This is the four way switch to actually trim the gimbals, uh, joystick, navigate the menus and two buttons. Let's turn it on. This is how it looks like turned on. Very nice and snug. Um, navigation is a little bit different from other FR Sky remotes because of the um, reduced amount of switches. This is how you get long press to the left. This is how you get into the radio menu. This is how you exit. Long press to the right brings you to the model setup and then you can go to the pages as you are used to from the bigger remotes it comes with or not it comes it comes actually without batteries and you have to get some of these NCR 18500 lithium ion batteries um, that you have to buy separately and they are not very usual at the moment so you better order some right with your X-Lite. There is no possibility to charge the batteries inside the remote, so you have to eject them every time and charge them out of the remote with a lithium ion charger. Um, yeah, this one is bought in Germany. It's coming with the, L with the LBT firmware. You can actually flash this thing to international. This is what I did with this one. Um, behind those little doors are screws for changing the gimbal spring resistance and uh, um, how hard it is to, to actually move the gimbals. This is actually very nice because you can change um, even between mode 1 and mode 2 without actually opening up the, the radio. This is pretty cool. There is also an external antenna connector up here where you can attach every 2.4 gigahertz SMA antenna. There is one from FR Sky that looks like a T uh, that uh, connects right up there. I haven't tested it yet. Um, all flights I did have been done with the internal antenna setup and I'm pretty satisfied with its range so far. Um, yeah, long story short, I'll just show you some flight footage I took using the FR Sky x Lite. So first I wanted to see if I can go low and down behind the buildings here. Um, and absolutely no problem, even behind the structure, the reception of the x -Lite was fine. So 
so the next testing was to go far out here in the open field, uh, low down to the ground. Um, this is behind me, I'm looking in the other side and even here no problems, no warnings whatsoever. I really tried to get a feeling for the sticks of the X light here and what I'm trying I did not change my rates uh, from the X9D and what I'm trying to see here if my muscle memory from the X9D still works on the X light and it, it does it does So let's slowly try to see how reception is inside of the buildings. No problems here so far, at least not with the x light. What's happening now is I lost picture with the rapid fire module and crashed inside. But luckily I configured turtle mode onto the x light as well and I am able to turtle mode it out of here. There is a prop broken, that's why it flies so bad. So, can the X Lite replace um, bigger remotes like the X90 for serious flying? Yes, I think it can. Um, it's, it's just a matter of getting used to it because the gimbals, they have much less throw than the big ones. Um, it's not so easy to have really fine grain control with that. But um, for instance, if you go on an airplane travel for like two weeks and just want to pack lightly, I could fully imagine taking this one with me and nothing else. And also there are many, many mods available for this one. Uh, our good friend Philip Seidel even uh, designed a 3D printed adapter uh, that goes right in the back of the x light and then you can use the TBS Crossfire long range system with the x light um, which is a great opportunity um, so you can switch your long range system back and forth from X9D to x light um, when you go on a travel. I will link uh, Philip's blog right down in the description. He has also some excellent manuals how to flash this one from uh, international to EU, force and back, and some additional settings you can make on your X Lite to make it even work better. If you're considering getting one of these, I can recommend it. It's a good remote, especially for simulator use on the PC. It is a great remote because of the cable very conveniently goes down here, not in the back like the X9D and you can really good um, fly the simulator like liftoff at your PC. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.